Okay, so in the last session, we saw how to set up your development environment for writing your HTML code and how you can see it in your web browser. So in this session, we'll learn more about tags, uh, which is HTML specific syntax and what are the tags, uh, what are different uh, number of tags, what they mean uh, and how HTML uses them to change the way your text appears. So imagine um, this is, uh, like, let's say in the previous example, we printed just the hello world syntax. And like I said, this is fine for uh, just the plain text, although it's not a standard for writing any web page and no web page will have just plain text, right? Uh, every web page will consist of different buttons, forms, links, uh, different headers and small text images and so on. So to to write that it's a there is a there are special symbols called as tags in html a, a tag is nothing but a pair of uh, special meaning words inside opening and closing and angle brackets so anything that i write here inside an angle bracket will become a tag in html and it it won't get printed as it is on web page uh, you won't see angle opening angle bracket and cur uh, ending angle bracket here like i have written here because uh, uh, the the this is a special syntax that browser and that only browser understands and it's for browser it's not for us to see so let's uh, with a, uh, with an uh, example every uh, every tag has a special different meaning so this tag is this what we can call it is as a bold tag and every tag will have its own opening and closing the, uh, what that means is the this tag is limited for this scope only whatever i write between here will get the meaning bold applied to it so what that means is this hello text will appear as bold if i go ahead and refresh uh, there you see it's in bold to compare it with some other text I'll write world outside the tags if I refresh it there you see world looks a little bit smaller thin than hello and that's how you write any tag there are uh, other number of tags uh, there are uh, other tags as well like I uh, intuitively I stands for italic text like this and uh, like uh, one more example to give like you uh, as you have guessed you stands for underline text and there are many many such tags uh, you can google them you can read more about them uh, now let's just see uh, how, what is the standard way of structuring any web application like uh, we saw in our presentation there is a fixed syntax that you have to follow uh, for creating any web application which starts with HTML tag tags can be nested inside other tags as well so every web page that will start with this one single tag and inside every HTML tag there will be two more tags one is called head and other is called as body S uh, the meaning of head tag is whatever goes uh, in the background of the web page that is not visible directly to the user uh, inside this white area whatever is outside of this white area uh, which is not usable to the browser uh, user will go inside the head tag uh, it includes changing the title of the page uh, fetching the styles we write it in CSS in we'll see in short amount of time uh, or anything else uh, fetching the scripts writing metadata that is read by uh, search engines like google bing etc so in short whatever that is not visible to the user directly will we will write it inside the head tag and whatever is uh, of course whatever is visible to the user uh, this white area will write it here and this is the standard structure you have to follow for any web page that you build okay for example if i write uh, one heading here uh, h1 stands for heading uh, and it will make text as large as possible like that if i reset my zoom and to compare it with normal text there you go this is the normal size of text and with heading tag it becomes larger 
uh, I, yeah so that is that is all about uh, f following the special syntax uh, now next we'll see how we can change the uh, way the look and feel of your web page with the CSS and of course before that what is CSS how to write the rules for it and so on thanks